and he became family, you know, and I appreciate his parents for allowing us to be in his life. Friends, loved ones, and a community coming together in Pine Bluff following the shooting death of a 16-year-old over the weekend. The teen's death leaving many in the area speechless. Community pastors and friends of that teenager tell us he went to Watson Chapel High mm -hmm. and as classes resumed today, those pastors came to the school hoping to be of assistance to grieving students. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Laura Monteverdi. Hello, good evening, everybody. I'm Bob Kloss. And those pastors saying they're providing comfort and they're speaking with, or rather about nonviolence. Talisa Hampton joining us now from Watson Chapel High School where community pastors and friends of the teen also gathered for a balloon release. Talisa, what the teen's friends have to say about this young man and also what else are the pastors saying and what are they doing to help? Yeah, Bob and Laura, the pastors I spoke with say that they're hoping to provide a sense of comfort while inside Watson Chapel High School. They tell me when they arrived, they saw many people in tears in the hallways. They also say that they want to be there to provide a positive outlet to help students handle the anger if they're feeling it. And they also tell me that after talking to some of the friends who I also spoke with, also across from the school, they say that their friend was one of a kind. We're just praying for the family. Heartbreak in the Pine Bluff community after authorities confirm a group of people were at the Martin Luther King Jr. Park Sunday morning when a it's fight broke out and Park. someone started shooting. Leave <laughs> Luther King Jr. Park. MLK Park. Rap, <laughs> MLK yeah. Park. I, yeah, if I, 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 oh, I, I just don't know how you let your kids do that, man. Go to a place named after Martin Luther King, man. That's neglect, man. Or Malcolm X. Yeah, man, any Medgar Evers, it don't matter who, Rosa Parks, that shit gonna be a fucking shithole. From a group of people were at the Martin Luther King Jr. Park Sunday morning when a fight broke out and someone started shooting, leaving a 16-year-old dead. It felt more like a nightmare, honestly, because it was so... Someone. They don't know who did this one either. There's a lot of ghosts running around Blapistan. I thought she said something. Unexpected, and it was like really wrong place, wrong time. Although police have not named the teen, family and friends of Tyler Lamar Thornton say it was him who died, and he will be dearly missed. We basically second family. When he call us, we on the way. If he needs something, we there. Tanya Spicer says Thornton grew a close friendship with her son. If he wasn't at home, he was at my house. Like, he was with my son all the time. The majority of the group time. met in the halls at Watson Chapel High School, where they say Thornton attended. We were there uh, counseling, praying for the students. It has now become an area where multiple pastors have met with students. This is the thing that we do because we realize, all of us pastors, we realize that this is a spiritual war where we have to change the minds of our children. Pastor Jesse Turner and others came to provide hope in a time of sadness. We realize that this is a spiritual war where we have to change the minds of our children. Turner says they also promote nonviolence. Use the uh, from nonviolence to no violence, uh, six principles of Martin Luther King. And we also use the 1776 Unites curriculum. They also gave a prayer. Comfort them and encourage them that he's all right. As students gathered at the school for a balloon release. It was straight. I'm glad everybody came out. It just showed like everybody really cared for him. Like, he always knew when something was wrong. So like, he was like, he understood me. The entire group says Thornton's light will... What? <laughs> what did say? It was what? straight here. <laughs> that was deep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, hella deep, man. <laughs> what? As students gathered at the school for a balloon release. It was straight. I'm glad everybody came out. It just showed, like, everybody really cared for him. Like, he always knew when something wrong with me. So, like, he was, like, he understood me. The entire... It's a mush mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he understood. Socrates. Yo, man. Yo. They need to pray for a better English teacher. Shit. And they're listening to NBA Young Boy and smoking <laughs> weed. It's just no fucking. Man. Yo, to each his own eye, but I, I don't think it's a spiritual war at all. Nah, I mean, it's relevant. It's DNA, man. This is DNA, man. This is all yeah. DNA. And it's all, all DNA. Good. And it's, listen, man. 
it's all good. It doesn't have to be like this big racial thing, man. It just is what it is because these people right here, they would be fine if they if this was all huts. I take all these buildings and all this electricity and all these fios and power lines and just roadways. Get rid of all that shit and make it mud huts and dirt roads. We be good. Yeah, we we got some weed. Don't they look like Africans though? Look at them. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But you know, but you know what? My thing is fine. Everything you said, whatever. That's cool. But can we, at the very least, lock up the violent ones so that everyone else can be safe? Yeah, we would if we knew who they were. Yeah. A lot of them, we know who they are. I mean, they're on bond. They have CVS receipt, rap sheets. Dude. And then there's some that we don't know who they are. Fair. Dude, you wouldn't, if if this was Africa, the violent ones would either be dead or they'd be in charge. You know what I'm saying? Like, they would would be a whole different scenario if these people were left alone, man. Yeah, but this is time bluff, though. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I feel you, and I don't disagree with you, but I just wish we could lock up the fucking, the clowns, you know what I mean? Yeah, in America, as long as as long as long they living in a, amongst America as the rules and shit, you know, America, yeah, it would be nice, yeah. Um, yeah, that would be nice, but it's just, oh, no, man, it's just less than likely, man. Less than likely, my G. Um, be careful, you know, like he always knew when something wrong with me, so like he was like, he understood me. The entire group says Thornton's light will never be dimmed. See, his personality outshines every, everything that you could possibly imagine. Now, the pastors also tell me they might be returning to the school later on this week to per- further provide some comfort. And as for the investigation, police tell me another person was also shot and injured while at the park on Sunday when that shooting took place, but they are expected to be okay, along with multiple people also injured with non-gun related injuries. Again, they're also expected to be okay. And they also ask if anybody knows anything about the shooting to come forward and contact police. Reporting in Pine Bluff, I'm Tylisa Hampton. Back to you. She looked like Bri- Bria 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs>